This week we're talking tribute bands. We have Smokin' and Renegade, a tribute to Boston and Styx. And we also have a Smokin' Herbal Acoustic Jam. And I think I'm starting to see a pattern here. This is the Local Music Show podcast starting now. Yes, things are really beginning to heat up here in South Florida. This is the Local Music Show podcast. So hot, in fact, I think I'm starting to see smoke coming from the green room. Is that pun intended? Well, kind of, sort of. Yeah. All right. <laughs> in the green room, we have a Boston and Sticks tribute band, Smokin' and Renegade. Localmusicshowpodcast.com is the website, home to all things important. <laughs> Kindly click on the subscribe buttons. I am Derek Diamante, along with the Ron the Legend and Jose Almonte. Smoking. And Renegade. (laughs) Let's kick off this show. We're here with Ken Urquhart, president of Highland Consultant Services, and we're talking payment processing. Ken? Since October of 2015, small to large businesses, restaurants to retail, merchants have been, let's say, managing their chargebacks. And I get it. The cost to implement the necessary requirements is oftentimes way more than the cost of managing these chargebacks month to month. Cardholders and issuing banks have become wise, and they know if you're still swiping, they will automatically win. Stop that nonsense and stop losing. Trust me, it won't cost as much as you think, and I'm no stranger to payment processing here locally. I have the right connections and the right processors for your business needs. Stop losing and start winning. We service restaurants, retail, e-commerce, high risk, and mobile merchants. We have got you covered. Give Ken a call at 561-704-3680 or you can find him on our sponsors page at localmusicshowpodcast.com. Highland Consultant Services is a local music show podcast approved business established in South Florida. 561-704-3680. And let him know you're a local music show podcast listener. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Weekend Update for Thursday 8-2 through Sunday 8-5. You're listening to the Local Music Show Podcast Weekend Update where you get all of your weekend updates. (laughs) <laughs> this week's featured venues are the Square Grouper in Jupiter, Matthews Brewing in Lake Worth, Double Roads Tavern in Jupiter, Copper Blues in City Place in West Palm, and Boston's in Delray Beach. For Thursday, August 2nd, you have the Accents at Double Roads at 7 p.m. Sierra Band is at Square Grouper at 8 p.m. For Friday, August 3rd, Mike McCleary is at Two Georges in Boynton at 4 p.m. 432 Vibes Trio is at Matthews Brewing in Lake Worth at 8 p.m. In a Sense is at Square Grouper in Jupiter at 8 p.m. Camaraderie is at Copper Blues in City Place at 8 p.m. And the Evil Monkeys are at Double Roads Tavern in Jupiter at 8.30 p.m. That's one of our bands. Come out and see us and cheer us on. On Saturday, 8-4, Joey Tenuto Band is at Two Georges in Boynton at 4 p.m. Poor Life Decisions is at Square Grouper at 8 p.m. The B-Side Band is at Matthews Brewing in Lake Worth at 8 p.m. Audio Tramp is at Copper Blues in City Place, also at 8 p.m. And Big Medicine is at Boston's in Delray Beach at 8.30. For Sunday, August 5th, Bryce Allen Duo is at Matthews Brewing at 2.30 p.m. Diago Das Virgins is at Two Georges in Boynton at 4 p.m. Abby Owens is at Square Grouper at 7 p.m. And Crazy Fingers is at Boston's in Delray Beach at 7.30 p.m. Last but not least, you have Daniel Eriks at Copper Blues at City Place at 8 p.m. If you'd like to have your favorite band or venue added to the Local Music Show Podcast Weekend Update, contact us at theshowguy at localmusicshowpodcast.com. Come out, see live music, support live music. See you there. are back at the local music show podcast ready for another exciting weekend Derek Diamante along with the Ron the Legend Jose Almonte what's going on man hey Fellas. what's happening Fantastic. can I can I get you a nice refreshment please please do please Jose for you my friend yes Jose you drinking black and tans oh actually uh Mick Lamber <laughs> and um, I want to bring up a, uh, a topic today. Um, 
we're going to talk about today's popular artists' return tours and what they will look like in 30 years from today. So we know what it looks like to see ACDC, and we see Guns N' Roses, and we see Tesla, and we see all the other bands. Uh, so w- what are today's artists going to look like in the next 30 years? Which are still rocking, by the way. Yes, they are. Still rocking. But my question is, is are these bands today going to still be rocking at like, the same caliber in 30 years? Like what bands are you talking about? Well, just think about what you have today, like um, like maybe J-Lo. J-Lo? <laughs> is she oh, still relevant? Man. Maybe Beyonce and Jay-Z. Uh, like 30 years from now, really? Yeah, imagine them. That's not going to happen. I, do, I don't think so, man. <laughs> But um, I was just kind of thinking about, um, could you imagine, like, uh, Beyonce and Jay-Z, what they're going to look like? I imagine, I kind of envision them kind of looking like um, Aunt Esther and Grady. Who are you calling ugly, sucker? <laughs> Holy Sanford and Son reference. <laughs> Jesus. Can you see uh, <laughs> Beyonce? Like, Watch it, sucker. <laughs> Derek, did you record a herbal acoustic jam before you came on the show? I think you did. I think you did. <laughs> hey, well, uh, we do have Smoke and the Renegade in the uh, <laughs> for today's episode. So. <laughs> and there's that pun again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So anyway, the, that's kind of what I... Well, well, all right, here's another one. Uh, what about um, Justin Bieber? Imagine him when he's about 45 and he's got a nice <laughs> little pot belly on him. Didn't he just get married? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's when they grow uh, sideways too, man. <laughs> <laughs> grow sideways? <laughs> all right. I'm not sure quite what that's a reference to, but hey, well, man, just we'll go with it. Instead of growing tall, you know, you're going to saw, you know, the belly and stuff, you know, oh. sideways, <laughs> out, girth. <laughs> well, that is a popular... But anyways, uh, I don't know, man. They, they, I don't... Can, can we... Dancing wait, the way they I, are right I, now... I'm sorry, can we... Three years from now? Can we not talk about Justin Bieber on our show you love ever Justin again? Bieber. Come on. Come on. You love oh, Justin Bieber. Oh, my goodness. About as much as I like Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> Come on. Well, uh, what, what about J-Lo? Imagine, what about it? Imagine, oh. imagine what her hips are going to look like. <laughs> when she's Grandma J-Lo <laughs> When she's Abuelita <laughs> Them hips ain't gonna look like they look like now <laughs> Just imagine what they're gonna look like in 30 years And is she still gonna be getting out on slow, the stage man. And time, is she gonna still Time is gonna move slow for she's that gonna I, look c- like I can't wait for that Share. <laughs> I don't know I don't know man. You know when what I don't like this that, topic <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we scrap this whole topic And, and go a different route well, Derek is having a good time. Really. <laughs> well, that's because he was visiting the green room. No, <laughs> you can blame it on those guys. <laughs> well, we are going to have the gentleman from Smoke and and Renegade joining us here in a few minutes on the Local Music Show podcast. We are coming to you from our luxurious studios here at the WPBHQ Studios in West Palm Beach, Florida. It's absolutely beautiful here, too. We, uh, um, we normally are in Studio A. We're in Studio B yes. uh, for this episode. And I'm super impressed. Everything looks amazing. Thank you. It really, really does. All right, you guys. So uh, anything else? Yeah, Smoking. change the topic. <laughs> let, let, let's get our boys in here from the green room, yes. and let's start talking some rock and roll. All right. We will be right back. You're listening to the Local Music Show Podcast. Back of the Local Music Show podcast. Joining us in the studio today, we have Eddie Jelly, Frank Vestry, Ken Urquhart and Soul, Smokin' and Renegade 
of Tribute to Boston and Styx. Welcome, fellas. Welcome, Cheers, boys. Man. Thank Hello. you. Thank you for joining Pleasure us. Pleasure to be here. Studio. We were just uh, talking about you guys a little earlier, and I know you guys have been uh, having some pretty good shows and having some pretty good success, and it looks like things are starting to grow, and it's nice to see that. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So what made you guys decide to, uh, to choose Boston and Styx? Frank right. actually came down to audition for some cover band. I'm not going to mention their name. <laughs> and he sang about three songs, and I was like, uh-huh. oh, my God, he's going to blow up the PA. And then we went outside. I was like, dude, you can't join the band. He was like, why? I was like, we have to do something else, me and you. Right. And we just looked at each other and said, yeah, we're going to do something. So and I always wanted to do a Boston tribute because uh, Brad Delp is one of my favorite vocalists. Mm-hmm. And there really aren't too many Boston tribute bands. I know the market's flooded with Journey and Led Zeppelin. Yeah. So... I thought if I was going to do a tribute, it would have to be something unique and something that hopefully people would want to hear. So, right. So we thought about uh, Boston was my first choice. Eddie was was on board, you know, and um, and then we decided that we wanted to add sticks to it because we didn't know if Boston by itself would have enough pull to, to draw be, people. To. Not right. so much pull, so. strong material to carry like a three-hour show. Right. Yeah. Even Boston, True. when they play live, they stretch things out to the point of boredom. And you don't want to have to do that. So no, we don't want to get bored. No. And for me, keep you know, it all power rock, man. I was I I've known Eddie for a number of years. I've always wanted to play in a band with him. He and I actually tried to get something together. It didn't happen. Frank and I have had the pleasure of being in a band together. And you know, the fact that the two of them got together and talked and then asked me to join up was just you know everything just lined up. Yeah. It was great. Just Fantastic. lined up and made it what it is now. Exactly. Is fantastic. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. I'm going to pat myself on the back with this one. I have another successful tribute band, and my knack seems to be finding the people whose musical talents and personalities mesh. And that's so important, as you guys know. Absolutely. Right, it's yeah. how you get along. You have to have respect for each other as a musician, as a person, how the, how the personalities are going to get along together. I can foresee that. Mm-hmm. So when we put this band together, I said, okay, I have to bring in Howie Hughes on bass. He plays with me in another tribute band. He was, he was the obvious choice. Again, I played with... Uh, what's your name? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Ken. Mm-hmm. That guy. I played with him like years ago, and I was like, hey, let's, let's drag him in. Thanks for that. I also played with Robert Jarmanin years ago in a band called Calamity Jane, and we've kept in touch over five years, and he was my obvious choice for a drummer. So I knew the personalities. I knew how the chemical fit was going to work, going to work. and that's what I put together. Well, you know, I think one of the, um, the most... Um the biggest obstacles to um, a successful band is just keeping the band together. Because over time, people's situations change. Uh, people's, um, you know, and, and for musicians like us, we're, uh, we are weekend warriors, so we don't do it full time. So a lot of times our daily situations change. Um, you know, family situations change, different, you know, different things just happen. And, and it's just, uh, and then a lot of times uh, musicians can be a little bit dramatic and happen to deal with those no. problems. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> give, well, it, give, it, give it time. We'll, we'll hate each other in a few years. We're only like eight or nine months <laughs> in. So in the honeymoon you just have to find. Long. Wait, we I still love hate each, you. <laughs> we still love each other right now. It's the honeymoon phase. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And, and there's not, no prima donnas. Not for nothing, music. though. Like, like what you were saying, Derek, is, you know, the South Florida music scene is challenging. Challenging. Let, you know, I, I can't think of a better word for it than that. There are so many talented musicians down here. There are a lot of good venues for people to play, and there's a lot of different things going on. And, and trying to find that gel, and you know, especially finding a group of musicians that can work together and you know keep that and going and sustaining. It's, it's it hard. It is tough. It's absolutely hard. Well, and not only for the uh, music scene, but you have so many other things going on in South Florida that attracts people's attention. Right. That, you know, you may not want to necessarily go out and sweat on in the middle of uh, August. Of you course know. we do. <laughs> but you have, but yeah, we, we do. We of still course do. we do. <laughs> we absolutely do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what but, day it is, uh, but right now it's like, what, 93 degrees today with a heat index shoot. of 100? So, yeah. 
Well, you know, if the Miami Heat have a hard time keeping the fans from leaving in the third period... And considering they play in air conditioning... Because they're not winning, that shows the dedication. See, we can tell tell you're a hockey Uh fan because you said third period instead of third quarter. (laughs) (laughs) You see what I mean? What that means means is he's not a basketball fan. (laughs) Yeah. You see how dumb you are? No. You see? About sports, politics, and religion. Who gave the show guy a microphone? (laughs) Hey, all you need to do is add in sex in there, and you've got the seven deadly sins of conversation. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Mm Mm-mm. Well, Eddie, um, you're no stranger to tribute acts, and uh, I think you've been doing the tribute thing long before tribute acts were really become popular in the last few years. I'm from Long Island, New York. Uh-huh. Uh, I started a Journey tribute band that uh, you, uh, mm, we, we were called Evolution. Mm-hmm. We actually got a cease and desist from Journey. Mm. We had a guy. That Congratulations! Looked, we had a guy that, that means you arrived exactly like Steve Perry moved like him. It was ridiculous. Security guards used to check his ID because they couldn't believe he was not Steve Perry. So we started that band. It was instant success. <laughs> instant success. It was, it was pretty crazy. Nice. I've also done a Stevie Ray Vaughan tribute that I've been doing since 2003. Okay. Um, and I realized a long time ago, as a pro musician, I don't do cover bands anymore. <laughs> I play in tribute bands for a number of reasons. Yes, we're imitating people. It's not the same as being a recording star. But again, I'm 63 years old. It's a beautiful thing to play, and people have the ability to tolerate my playing. It's beautiful. Awesome. Well, let me open one for you. (laughs) Good thing you're a beer drinker. Yes. (laughs) That is awesome. I really Mm -hmm. like hearing that. And so what, uh, what venue do you feel that you had the most success at in one of your tribute bands? And, and how many audience members do you think actually attended at that show? Our first big show with Evolution, which kind of really opened my eyes to the tribute scene, we played a club called Mulcahy's on Long Island, New York. And if you remember the old gymnasiums in school where they were able to close off certain sections of it with these steel doors, right. they used to do that at Mulcahy's. Mm-hmm. So they closed off half of the place. Well, when we played there, they had to open the whole place, and we played to 4,000 people Holy at our God. very first New York show. Wow. So I'm very a tribute cool. fan. But you you're, you're with, uh, with the Smoke and, and Renegade. You guys just played at... Uh, uh, House of Blues in Orlando. Yeah, man, great yeah, gig. That was yeah. a cool was that? show. Lot that was. Fun. I saw the, some videos and it was just. Yeah. I was so amazed and happy for you guys because it was. Yeah. That was, so a, great that to was see an incredible you in that show. Position. Yeah. So how sure many people blues. were in that? Just to six hundred. Right? Six hundred and roughly six hundred. Yes. It was. It was amazing, man. It the was thing, the yeah, thing yeah, about that venue, I mean, it was really cool because you had it was three levels and there were people on all three levels, which mm-hmm. is what really impressed me. You right. had the floor, which was just covered with people. You had a mezzanine that had a bunch of people there and you had an upper balcony. And they were all there to see you guys. And everybody was there to see well, us. Well, I, yes. I think what happened, Amazing. Jose, is that when they, um, when they promoted it, they thought it was actually Sticks and Boston playing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's why we, hey, that's you know why we got that's that reaction got. that we did. So, and by the fifth song, I think they realized that we weren't really there. <laughs> but they were all drunk by then, so they kept clapping. But that's clapping. what they got, though. They got, they got the Smoking uh, Renegade tribute, and that's what they went to see, and that's what they got, you know? I mean, uh, one of our awesome. One of our first debut shows, actually, though, was playing at the South Florida Fair. Uh, they have a battle of the tribute bands uh, in uh, 
January, right? Yes. Yeah, in right. January. I think it was. We had 27th. The, yep, that's right. We had the honor of playing there, and there was easily a thousand people or more at that show. It was three thousand. Oh, it was it was fantastic. I was there. And the uh, the feedback that we got from the crowd was just incredible. We had Amazing. such that's a great awesome. time playing that show. Yeah. And it was I great because we only had to know six songs for that show, so we felt like we were rock stars until the next week when we realized, hey, we don't have a full show yet. <laughs> we better get back into rehearsal. You guys started off with six songs? Yeah, yeah pretty right. much. Wow. We had to play that, like that's all we had to you know. know. At the time, that's all we had to know. That's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, that was great. I had been doing the South Florida Fair for years. I, my Stevie Ray tribute did it for a number of years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we won it with my Fleetwood Mac show last year. We mm -hmm. came in first place. And honestly, we would have won this year, but due to the powers that may be in the passing of certain people, well, we didn't I was, win. Well, I was going to bring that up a minute ago. And yeah, uh, yeah. And understandably so. Okay, Be honestly. Because honestly, I heard both acts. <laughs> And, and yes. believe me, we're not. Yes. We're and not, I think everybody and I'm not, else. I'm not trying to be like full of myself. No, like, no not, exactly. And we're not taking anything right. away from those guys too. Because no, they actually no. put on a very good they show. Did. Yes, they yes, did. they sounded they great. They really did, and they did very they really well. Did. But I'm just saying, as a person who has no dog in the fight, either which way, as just a total I like bystander, that. no dog in the fight. I like that. <laughs> Stolen as a, as, a, as a music fan, <laughs> right? But 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 listening to both and 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 judging the performance because I'm a musician, so I kind of know what you guys are do and what they're you know what you're experiencing and what what the audience is going to experience as well and uh and i have to agree you guys exactly thank, thank you man i didn't say a word did i you guys, exactly yeah. we we appreciate it i'm gonna say they did great and then just stop there no we, we we give total props to those guys they really did great but you know we had a pretty incredible show I, uh, and, totally and, and from our perspective we feel that we had a really incredible show and it, it's led to a lot of success since then which is what we're really happy about and we were totally appreciative of all the fans and all the people that have come out to see us all of our followers on facebook thank you again very much and it's just been an epic ride so far well and I think the, the the following growth because of that is also a reason why absolutely and so I think everybody was thinking the same as us so <laughs> well, thank you man we so, appreciate that every right. show has been better than the last and um, the momentum is building yes it is I can feel it it's, it is it's building it is because you guys got the talent you have the show you have the vocals you have you have everything that you and we need have to, Ken Urquhart. Yeah. That's right. You have Come Ken on. Urquhart. And one of these days you'll actually learn to say my last name, <laughs> or not. Jerk. <laughs> it's only two syllables. I go with. What's it? Urquhart. 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 Oh, that's soul. horrible. And so, dude, the way you say his <laughs> name irks him, and it hurts his heart. Yeah. <laughs> Urquhart. <laughs> it irks you heart. It hurts my heart. Yeah. yeah. Good. Thank you. All my ancestors are rolling over in the grave. I Good. I've got that. it locked in. That's your name. <laughs> I'll tell you an easy way to remember it. Ken Urquhart and Soul. <laughs> no, I'm never living that one down. Then why is there no. a U in your name, dude? <laughs> Don't ask about the spelling. I'm gonna no, but it's, it's spelled with a U in there. Yeah, but it it's is. like 700 years old. I'm gonna, your new name on stage is Kenny University. <laughs> That's how I'm going to introduce you. My God, guys. How many names am I going to have? Kenny you, man. I got a few for you, Ken. You don't get to call me Kenny. Uh, yeah. And as I was saying, sometimes the most difficult challenges of keeping a band together. <laughs> All in one episode of the Local Music Show podcast. <laughs> it's not me that calls you Kenny. It's that little devil on the bottle of... Uh, the Fireball. cinnamon whiskey. Yeah. Mm, cinnamon whiskey. We'd like to plug Fireball at that this is, point. That, that is my nickname in the band, and that is, how we, that is how we start every show. <laughs> nice. With the shot of Fireball. And if you guys would like to book smoke and contact Rich at Maximum Bands, 813-818-1000, or rich at MaximumBands.com is the email, or you can reach us here at the Local Music Show podcast, and the show guy will get you in contact with Rich. <laughs> Let me make a guy. statement regarding uh, Rich Rubin and Maximum Bands. Uh, He's really worked hard to put us on the map very quickly. Mm -hmm. I've known Rich since 2006. He respects me. I respect him. I nice. love what he does. I knew he was going to push us, so he was my obvious choice for an agent. So you guys and got a long time working relationship then. Yeah, yeah. And nice. uh, 
He's known Frank for years. So when he heard Frank and I were working together, it was like done. He was deal. all in. He was all in. He knew yeah. you guys were going to be rock solid, dependable. Yeah. Something trustworthy. No, confident. we appreciate that. Absolutely. He expected us to be smoking. Mm-hmm. And we have hopefully delivered in his eyes. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Speaking of smoking, uh, Speaking will you guys of- join us? We are headed to the uh, Herbal Acoustic Jam. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Um, choke, choke. <laughs> Despite my acoustophobia, <laughs> we have a very nice uh, studio set up in an undis- undisclosed location in Colorado. Yeah, I actually have a flight oh. in about forty-five minutes to Colorado. So if we can like wrap this up, that'd be great. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going we with will them. See you there. Then. All right. Awesome. Just make sure to bring Let's your acoustic our bags. instrument. Awesome. I'm there, dude. All right. We will be I'm right back. Leaving. This is the local music show podcast. On a jet plane. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Weekend Update for Thursday, 8-2 through Sunday, 8-5. You're listening to the Local Music Show podcast, Weekend Update, where you get all of your weekend updates. <laughs> this week's featured venues are the Square Grouper in Jupiter, Matthews Brewing in Lake Worth, Double Roads Tavern in Jupiter, Copper Blues in City Place in West Palm, and Boston's in Delray Beach. For Thursday, August 2nd, you have the Accents at Double Roads at 7 p.m. Sierra Band is at Square Grouper at 8 p.m. For Friday, August 3rd, Mike McCleary is at Two Georges and Boynton at 4 p.m. 432 Vibes Trio is at Matthews Brewing in Lake Worth at 8 p.m. In a Sense is at Square Grouper in Jupiter at 8 p.m. Camaraderie is at Copper Blues in City Place at 8 p.m. And the Evil Monkeys are at Double Roads Tavern in Jupiter at 8.30 p.m. That's one of our bands. Come out and see us and cheer us on. On Saturday, 8.4, Joey Tenuto Band is at Two Georges and Boynton at 4 p.m. Poor Life Decisions is at Square Grouper at 8 p.m. The B-Side Band is at Matthews Brewing in Lake Worth at 8 p.m. Audio Tramp is at Copper Blues in City Place also at 8 p.m. And Big Medicine is at Boston's in Delray Beach at 8.30. For Sunday, August 5th, Bryce Allen Duo is at Matthews Brewing at 2.30 p.m. Diago Das Virgins is at Two Georges in Boynton at 4 p.m. Abby Owens is at Square Grouper at 7 p.m. And Crazy Fingers is at Boston's in Delray Beach at 7.30 p.m. Last but not least, you have Daniel Eriks at Copper Blues at City Place at 8 p.m. If you'd like to have your favorite band or venue added to the Local Music Show Podcast Weekend Update, contact us at theshowguy at localmusicshowpodcast.com. Come out, see live music, support live music. See you there. Show podcast back with smoking and renegade a tribute to Boston and to sticks and we're gonna do another song here on the herbal acoustic jam fellas let's take it home in the key of E Show. 
going on to the local music show. And I'll meet you there. We'll have one more. Everybody, Jose Almonte on the bongos. Take it, Jose. Thank you again for smoking and Renegade tribute to Boston and Sticks. Yes, for thank coming you guys in. very much for coming to the show. And to the thank you. Music show thank you guys. Thank you, man. No, but I want to take this guitar. Here. Don't you know? We want to thank everyone for spending your valuable time hanging out with us each week at the Local Music Show podcast. We cannot thank you enough for your support and your sincere dedication to the show, to our bands, and to our local hangout spots. Be sure to catch our roaming Local Music Show podcast microphones. It's a great way to get yourself heard on the show and instantly become popular among others. Interact with the show by emailing us at localmusicshowpodcast at gmail.com. Join the conversation on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Send us an email if you'd like to add to the conversation or if you have a show idea. We'll be back next week, and we look forward to seeing you this weekend. I'm Derek Diamante for the Local Music Show Podcast, signing off. Have a great weekend, everyone.